Curry might make the 50-40-90 club list again. The 50-40-90 club is when a player shoots at least 50% from the field, at least 40% from three, and at least 90% from the free throw line for an entire season, of course. Right now, Steph Curry is shooting 50% from the field, 43% from three, and 91% from the free throw line, which is insane. First of all, he's shooting a career high 11.8 threes per game and making 43% of them. And in my opinion, I think he's going to end up averaging like 45, maybe even 47, but I won't push it. 45% from three because I just feel like it's a Steph Curry efficient year. And if you're thinking, so what, 50-40-90 club? Well, that's incredibly hard to do. You know why? Because only nine players in NBA history have ever done it. Here's all the players right here. You got Malcolm Brogdon, Reggie Miller, Mark Price, Steph, of course, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving did it last year, Larry Bird, and Steve Nash. Besides that being elite company of just players in general, that's elite company in the fact that only nine people have ever done it. His first time making 50-40-90 club was the unanimous MVP season, and he averaged 30 a year, and he's averaging 30 again, so can you imagine averaging 30 and still shooting that efficiently? The ability to do that is crazy, because you gotta be efficient from literally everywhere on the field, including the free throw line. And like I said, he's shooting 12 threes a game, 11.8, close enough, 12. To top it all off, it's not like he's just standing in the corner wide open or anything. Steph Curry, gets some of the hardest defenses played against them. Teams will throw any kind of defensive scheme they can find. One, two, three, four defenders. It doesn't matter. You cannot stop Steph Curry. So it's the fact that he's being so efficient against, honestly, probably two defenders at least every time. I've seen three defenders quite often as well. So it's not like he's wide open. He has a hand in his face at all times. And he just he just makes them. <laughs> Again, it's not just threes because you have to be 50% from the field and he's very good in the paint. People really underestimate his ability to finish around the rim, but honestly, he's great there too. I forgot what the number was, but I remember at the beginning of the year, like maybe like the first 10 games when he was shooting absolutely lights out. You can correct me if I'm wrong down below, but he had something like a true shooting percentage of like 70%, which is unheard of for a guard. It's just insane how he literally still keeps getting better. Like, I feel like this is the best he's ever been, and every year we say that. So shout out Steph Curry. I hope he makes the 50-40-90 club again, because that's an incredible accomplishment. And maybe while averaging 30 again, who knows? And keep your eye out for the Warriors. I think they're going to start creeping up in the standings. You might see them near the top of the list, maybe number one. And you might hear Steph Curry's name in MVP conversation soon. I understand why he obviously is not top in the MVP conversation because of where his team stands. And I think Luka is absolutely insane this year. But Luca's name is way higher in the MVP list than Steph Curry's, and their teams are similar in record. But that's another story for another day.